Hi guys! Oh, I just like hit my chin. That's weird. As you can tell, there's probably something different about me. I don't know. Um, kind of got bangs. Kind of, mm, yeah, I did. I didn't kind of. I did. Today, I kind of wanted to just talk to you guys because, like I said, I'm not going to be doing the beauty videos anymore. Like, not to get me wrong, I might throw in a makeup video every once in a while. But I want to start talking to you guys. It's so much more fun, in my opinion, to talk to you guys rather than it is to, like, do voiceovers and just be like, okay, do this to your lid and, like, yeah, try to look pretty, whatever. No, that's not me anymore. I kind of wanted to talk to you guys and kind of be more organic with my content rather than, like, blah, 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 blah. unoriginal because a lot of people do makeup tutorials and no judgment towards them. I bet they're great. They're amazing. All the beauty gurus out there, props to you. You guys are killing it. But that's just not me. And whenever I do it, I feel unoriginal. So I kind of want to just be more original with my content and like just do things that I want to talk about. And if you don't like it, that's okay. Then you can unsubscribe. Or if you like it, you can go ahead and subscribe. I'm not pressuring you into doing anything. It's your life. You choose what you want to do. But for this week's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about some things I've learned through my life. Um, some of these are going to be like a little hysterical, but some of these are actually going to be like really like to the point. And if you want to watch this video, you can just keep watching. I mean, why not? I have my laptop right here, but it's kind of casting a white thing on me and eh, not really about that. The first thing that I've learned throughout my lifetime, which has only been 16 years and a few months, know you're worth something and even if you feel like you're worth nothing you're worth something if that makes any sense hopefully it does i think you guys probably understand where i'm coming from you're worth something because you're literally the only person that has ever walked this earth that is you this is so confusing the next thing is to find good in everything there's good in everything in all situation and all outcomes and everyone even when there seems to be no good that comes from a person or from a situation there's good in something and there's good in someone there's always going to be that little bit of good in every person no matter if the rest of their body is bad there's always going to be a little bit of good and you just have to look at that good because if you look at the bad that's just going to bring totally like negative energy and bad vibes into your whole life just look at the good and it usually helps with circumstances or situations that you're in so just look at the good it's brighter on the other side so just make it to that other side this thing i stand so strongly on it's school sucks and there's nothing you can do about it there's absolutely nothing you can do about it trust me i've tried everything um i've tried sending my parents things being like listen this is why i should be homeschooled i shouldn't be going to public school where i had to sit around a whole bunch of people that i genuinely don't like but i have to just sit there and pretend like i like and i just have to be a decent person for those six hours at being at a public school where there's so many bodies and it's just, we're all just compacted into one building or multiple buildings but like there's still a large amount of people in a building and you have to follow by the rules that you're being told and you have to get good grades and you have to pass all your state exams and all your state tests because that defines how intelligent you are apparently i know that defines whether or not you get a good job for your future and that determines whether or not you're going to make a good living or whether or not you're actually going to be someone in this world because because god forbid we are only categorized into how smart we are because of one test that we take and that determines our whole life practically unless you're going to go to like art school but even then you have to have really good work and get to actually put effort into all your work and honestly you can go on about this but you guys get what i'm saying school sucks there's nothing you can do about it you just have to get through it these are honestly just ongoing like they connect to one another but the next point was to find something that you love and portray no that's not the word pursue that you want to be in okay this one i stand so strongly on it's accepting people for who they are and realizing that if we were all the same this world would be absolutely boring and we would literally just be looking at the same person hearing the same things doing the same things like everyone is unique in their own way and we need to accept everyone no one should be looked down on or frowned upon no matter how different they are from you 
you should accept them. You don't have to talk to them. You don't have to do anything. You just have to accept them because they are one of a kind, just like you are. And why not spread a little bit of good for people? Just accept people because that is honestly such a big deal in society nowadays is not accepting people for who they are. But I am noticing like people are being a little bit more accepted for who they are and what they stand for, which is amazing. And I honestly stand so firmly on this because everyone wants to be accepted. So why not all of us like actually try and do that? Okay, this next one is such a big deal for this world right now. Racism is a huge factor. You need to figure out that like, we're all human. We're all made up of the same body parts. We're all made up of the same things, like whatever, whatever. We are all one and we need to accept that just because someone's a different color than you are, God forbid, you have to be mean to them. No, you should be nice to that person. Like, we we should all accept each other because they weren't put here for no reason. We're, we're all one, okay? We need to be equal. Racism is such a big factor in this world and we need to start standing up for this because this is so wrong on so many levels. Racism is not a joke, it's not funny. And just because they're this different color than you, doesn't matter. You are literally the same person. You are both worth the same amount. Get over yourself, please. Next one is my favorite one. Animals are friends. Animals are friends. I love the animals. Um, they're living just like you are. And me being my vegan, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, can you not? That, that was really, that was nice. Thank you. Well, you're all just gonna go fall in. There, that looks good. Society is gonna throw everything your way and it's just gonna attack you little by little and they're gonna take pieces of you and just tear you apart until you're down on the ground and you literally can't get up anymore. You need to figure out a way how to survive that and just find things that keep you up. Find that one thing that you can grab onto and pull yourself up because you gotta get through it no matter how hard it sucks. I know life sucks. It's horrible sometimes, but we gotta find that one little thing that can pull us up a little bit. But you gotta stay there until you can find something else and pull yourself up just a little bit more. Um, the 1975 is the best band there is, and honestly, you can fight me about that. Okay, not seriously, because I don't fight. Fighting's no. Um, but you can argue with me about that. Next one is an opinion. Um, it's a very strong opinion in my perspective. Um, Donald Trump is the most arrogant person I have ever heard of. He is the most racist person I have ever seen. Vote for Hillary because honestly, I don't support Hillary that much, but if it's between Donald Trump and her, use your voice and vote for the one that you think is going to help our country the best because honestly, in my opinion, I don't think Donald Trump is going to help us whatsoever. Hillary Clinton, she's done things that I don't approve of, but in the end, she's the one that's probably most certified for getting this country through the next four years until the next election. You gotta realize that this is our country we're talking about. We gotta realize who's gonna get us through the next four years, hopefully, pleasantly and smoothly in the most safest way to get through these years. And honestly, I don't think Donald Trump is going to do that. If I had the voice to vote, I would, um, but I can't because laws, whatever those are, Donald Trump is honestly the most arrogant person I have ever heard of. Um, the way he speaks about women. Women are not fat pigs. Women are not sex icons. He needs to realize that this is the state of our country and all he's doing for himself is making himself look bad. And having those little locker room talks is not appropriate, especially for the age he was and it's not appropriate for any age. He needs to figure out that he's acting so immature and he's so childish and he needs to get it together because if he ever wants any respect from America, he needs to actually talk to us and make good points and not call people wrong names and not do immature things a little middle schooler would do. So he needs to get it together and work with it. That's all I have to say. I could go on about politics, but I'm not going to for the sake of the time of this video. But that's it for 
things I've learned throughout my life. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. This is definitely videos that I like doing because I get to like talk and rant. It's so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to, obviously. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys next Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys next Saturday. I love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.